Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Quadratic functions, different ways in which they will appear. Okay. Um, the following podcast is just uh, a mini introduction to the different parabolas that we're actually going to be investigating over uh, the next little while. Okay. The equation of a quadratic function can be expressed in different ways. Here are three different ways that they may be expressed. Okay. The following, y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 30. This is what we call standard form. Okay. Standard form means that we have our equation as follows, where y is equal to ax squared plus some bx value plus some constant, okay? So, and, and in which we have various values here. And one of the key components in any quadratic function, and we're going to um, examine this more in detail in the upcoming lessons, is the following, the, um, the x squared. And that's one of the hints to having a quadratic function. Another example here is two y is equal to two open brackets, x plus five, close brackets, open another set of brackets, x minus three, and this is what we call factored form. And we will be looking at the factored form of quadratics, um, like I said, in, um, in future lessons. Um, one key to understand here in terms of um, expanding such an expression, if we use what we call the FOIL method, first outer, inner, last, okay? And we, whenever we uh, expand something in, uh, uh, as follows, we get, again, what we call a quadratic function, okay? And the next one, pretty much the, uh, the focus of the next several lessons will be writing out the equation in what we call vertex form. And this is the format really that we're going to be steering towards because there is a lot of valuable information that can be extracted from this to help us graph our parabola, or to graph our quadratic function. In terms of here, the things that we're going to be looking at, what does that value represent and how is that going to help us graph it? This value right here this value right here as well. And these are all bits of information that will help us graph our parabolas. And like I said, once we get to, um, to that um, section of the, um, of the course, that's where we will be focusing a lot on the vertex form because this is gonna be the most useful form when graphing parabolas and being able to extract other bits of information from this format. Okay, and each form provides different information about the relation. One thing that we're going to be looking at in the following podcasts will be the following expression. And we're we looking pretty much examining this vertex form and pretty much its derivatives. Okay, so we'll be looking at the properties of parabolas when they are in the following format. Y is equal to AX squared. Y is equal to AX squared plus k, y is equal to a, x minus h squared, and lastly, y is equal to x minus h squared plus k. And remember that this is pretty much what we call the vertex form. Okay? In fact, all of these, to some extent, represent some kind of a vertex form. Okay, so in the upcoming lessons, we will be comparing and contrasting Let's move this over here. Uh, the properties of quadratic functions when they are in the following formats.